nitrogen and oxygen input given to the fuel cell test station. So this one will go to the mass flow controller, then humidifier. From the humidifier, you will get the humidified gas. You can do all the controls and monitoring the data using RSI mean ERTB software. Here is a software that you have a lot of control for the temperature, humidifier number one and humidifier number two. Then you can have the control for the uh, H2 flow and O2 flow and you can acquire the data using our software. Now you can see the flow machine. So here we can we have given the flow of 400 and 200 for the hydrogen and oxygen. So in our software, you have an option to change the flow during the course of measurement. If you enter like a 300, it's possible. You can instantaneously change the hydrogen flow. You can see the changes here. So now we back to 400. So this is possible during the course of measurement. Now you can see it's the H2 flow rate is 400 now. This is polygonized electrochemical system, potential stat, galvanostat and electrochemical impedance analyzer. So this can be used for uh, charge, discharge and then impedance analysis. For this fuel cell, we are going to uh, use this potential stat galvanostat as a load to draw the current from the fuel cell. This is the original master software. So from this software, we are going to operate the original electrochemical systems. To uh, perform some test on a fuel cell, we are going to use a chrono potentiometry technique. From this technique, we are going to draw 200 milliampere, 300 milliampere, 400 milliampere. Like that, we are keep increasing the uh, current load to draw from the fuel cell. As and when, when we are increasing the load, the voltage will be going down. That is what we are. Uh, that is what the test we are going to do. Today. Thank you. First twenty seconds of the operation will be monitoring the open circuit potential. Now you can see it is just. Uh, measuring the open circuit potential of the cell now there is no current is drawn across the potential step after 20 seconds you can clear you can see the instrument will start 7.6 760 volt and then now we started drawing the current now it is drawing 200 milliampere current for 20 seconds this will be drawing to, uh, 200 milliampere current it moved to 300 milliampere current and then you can see the voltage is dipped a bit so you can see the graph also there is a dip in the voltage of the fuel cell so now it is drawing 400 milliampere current you can see still the voltage is going down So now you can see so we have an option for measuring the additional voltage so this is auxiliary voltage you can be able to uh, do it so when you are doing uh, uh, multiple stack measurement it will be much more useful so here are the options it can be like directly through the humidifier or through the uh, bypass even if you don't want to do humidification, you can bypass it by simply 
doing like this this is off condition and this is for the humidifier mode and we have a back, back pressure uh, uh, controls for the for the uh, oxygen as well as uh, hydrogen side and in case of any emergency you can um, press the emergency button to stop the operation so this is our fuel cell station this is completely computer controlled and you can see the log data here This is the some data from the uh, oil gallons potential that acted as a acted as a electronic load to draw the current from the fuel cell. So you can see the voltages uh, keep coming down as and when when we increase the load value that current and we increase the load current the voltage was coming down. This is one of the uh, most important information we need to uh, get from our fuel cell.